Hello, welcome. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can create SFTP connection in our Oracle Integration Generation 3. So before going to create connection, let's move how we can create connection or add the SFTP connectivity in our system with the help of any application like WinSFP or FileZilla. So here you can see I have already given the SFTP credentials here and the, you can see this is the host port and the user and password. Once I will click on the login, the, the server will be connected in my system. The same credentials I will provide in the connection while creating a new Oracle integration and we'll check here you can see in the BI report folder we have all these things in your server. So let's move to the connection. So here in integration I have already created this different different connection now creating new connection to click on the create button. Once you will click on the create button you need to select the adapter. For SFTP server connection or FTP server connection we have FTP adapter so I will select FTP and I need to provide the name so I will provide name as FX FTP connection and here you can see as that FTP connection is available only for invoke we don't have trigger that's why we don't have trigger here now you have to click on that create once you will click on that create it will ask you the credentials or it will ask you the properties details here so here we will provide the host address port and the user password user and the password for the same so let me add here everything now here I have provided the details like FTP host port and the sec for security I have given the username and the password and if you will see here optional properties here it asking that SFTP connection yes or no so here as we know that our this is our SFTP connection so I will select yes if suppose you are going to make a connectivity for FTP server you need to select as no and here provided IP address and all this is not required so I will skip everything here now here we can see I have already all the details now I need to go for test so once I will click on test you can see that it will the configuration status will be completed to 100% once it's completed to 100% then only we can go for save right now you can see a status as draft once I will click on the save it will be in the configured status and once the the connection is in configure it is status it means that the connection is ready to use in integration so thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed to this channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to like this video thank you so much again